Hi, this is Trey Passer. Welcome to my review of The Gentleman. Uh, this is the latest uh, Guy Ritchie film. Uh, I love uh, Guy Ritchie films, especially his gangster films, and this one is no exception. Uh, this one has a great cast. It has Matthew McConaughey in it, Charlie Hunnam, Michelle Dockery, Jeremy Strong, Colin Farrell, Henry Golden, Eddie Marston, and Hugh Grant. Okay, this is a, a fantastic film. I absolutely love this movie. Let me tell you a little bit about it. It's about a uh, drug kingpin, or weed kingpin, of London, played by Matthew McConaughey. He plays a character named Mickey Pearson. He's like the weed, you know, king of London, and he kind of wants to retire. You know, he's he's you know he's facing middle age, and he wants to retire and go off with his wife, uh, played by Michelle Dockery, who plays Rosalind Pearson. He wants to give up his business so he can go ahead, go ahead and retire. And he has a right hand man, played uh, played by Charlie Hunnam. He plays a character named Ray. Okay, and he wants to sell his business off, to, you know, so he can go off and you know retire and live. Like sip tea with white and, and live a nice, quiet, middle class life. But of course, this wouldn't be a Guy Ritchie film if there weren't twists and double turns in this. Okay, and of course, that happens when he's trying to sell his business off and he's getting muscled in by a character named Dry Eye, played by Henry Golden. Okay, and what really makes this movie is uh, Hugh Grant. Hugh Grant is like the secret star of this movie. Okay, he plays a character named Fletcher, a sleazy private eye who kind of approaches Ray. Uh, played by Charlie Hunnam, this, this basically telling him, listen, I know all about your boss trying to sell his business off, okay, and I know there's going to be double crosses and all this stuff, and I know what's going on. He basically tried to blackmail him, okay, because he said he's been hired by uh, this big, this publisher named Big Day, played by Eddie Marson, who wants to basically ruin uh, Mickey Pearson by, you know, because he got snubbed by him at one time, and he wants to put all his business all over his tabloids, okay, but Fletcher says, listen, I can make this all go away if you just pay me a certain amount of money. And he kind of presents it to uh, Ray as a as a uh, screenplay, <laughs> which is absolutely hilarious. And then you get to see the story getting acted out. And it's, and then, of course, you flash back to uh, there's two characters, Ray, Ray and Fletcher, you know, having a go at each other. And it's just a really entertaining movie. Okay, like I said, it's a, it's a Guy Ritchie film. So there's, there's crosses and double crosses in this. Uh, Colin Farrell plays... <laughs> A uh, character named Coach, he's like a, a middle-aged guy who's trying to, you know, who's training these young punks in the gym and stuff, and he figures into the story as well. You have uh, uh, Jamie Strong, who plays uh, uh, one of the potential suitors that wants to buy the business from Mickey Pearson. Okay, and of course, like I said, you have Matthew McConaughey, who's playing this this guy who's trying to, you know, you know, sell his business and stuff. And again, the performances are absolutely fantastic in this movie. Absolutely love them. There's violence in there. There's <laughs> this comedy, of course, because it's a Guy Ritchie film, dark comedy in this as well. And I especially love Hugh Grant in this. He's absolutely hilarious in this. This this guy that's trying to tell the story to Ray and trying to convince him, listen, I know where the bodies are buried. I know everything that's going on uh, with your boss and everything else. And I know all the particular players. And so unless you pay me, okay, and I had backup, you know, he said, I didn't come here. You just, you know, to, to get killed. I have backup story in case anything happens to me. And it, and he, but he's absolutely but he does it with such charm, Hugh Grant, that he's absolutely hilarious. His part is just so well written and just absolutely funny. Okay, it's just great. Him and Colin Farrell to to an extent. Colin Farrell, he's places like I said, this tough guy who runs this gym and stuff. Who's trying to train wayward, you know, youths and stuff. And he gets figured into the story as well. He's another tough guy. And this again, this story is absolutely just amazing and funny. And I, and I like Michelle Dockery too as his wife. You know. Mickey's wife, who's trying to t warn him about, you know, giving up the business and what it's going to entail, you know, basically tell him that you got to watch your back and be very careful because when they find out that you're trying to save business, the wolves are going to come out, okay? And it's, this is just a fantastic movie. I absolutely love this movie. This movie is just entertaining from beginning to end, funny, dramatic when it has to be, and just absolutely hilarious. And I loved it, okay? I'm going to give uh, The Gentleman, I'm going to give it an 8.5. I think it's one of his... Guy Ritchie's best films. Okay, it's just it's absolutely the cast is perfect, the acting is perfect. And again, special mention to Hugh Grant because he's absolutely hilarious as Fletcher, <laughs> this, this complete sleazeball private eye who's trying to, to to blackmail these gangsters and stuff, and telling the story, weaving the story in the most entertaining way possible. And it's absolutely hilarious and fun to watch. So I definitely highly recommend it. Anyway, 8.5 for me. Let me know what you think. Have you seen the gentleman? What do you think of it? Uh, feel free to leave comments down below. If you uh, like this review, please hit the subscribe button down below. I have links to my social media in the description box, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I also have a link to my other channel, all views and opinions. If you check that out as well. 
and this is Trade Pass just saying so long and take care.